What's up, lads? Joshua, and welcome back to yet another episode of FIFA 15 Ultimate oh, Team Predictions. We are going to cover five more transferred players today, and uh, if you've got any, you know, um, suggestions for the comments uh, for, for the next episode, sorry, uh, do be sure to comment them down below, and uh, I will see if I can cover them for the next episode. But apart from that, let's get straight into this video. But if you guys are looking to buy some coins, do be sure to check the link in the description for UT Coins for you, selling for three pound on the Xbox and four pound on the PlayStation. Very, very cheap coins. You can also use the code JG94 to get an additional five percent off. But apart from that, let's get straight into this video. Video and let's go cover some players. Moving on to the first player of this episode, guys, we are going to talk about Divock Origi, recently signed for Liverpool from Lille. He played 30 games last season, scored five goals, and got one assist. Now, I have, I actually, um, I'm going to completely agree with what head to head, you know, the latest head to head update have said for him, and uh, they are going to give him a 71 rated left wing card, mainly because I have only seen him play two games, and that was in the World Cup. I mean, he scored in one of them, so I guess uh, it's not too bad for his age, but uh, I'm going to have to completely agree with whatever EA have said that he should be, so. 71 rated left wing I'm going to keep him at he could play strike for Liverpool uh, he could play left wing maybe even right wing we'll have to see um, but I think he's actually gone back out on loan to uh, to Lille for another season but um, I think that is anyway um, but anyway I'm going to give him um, oh well um, the latest head head update has given him 84 pace 61 shooting 64 passing 75 dribbling 41 defending and 62 heading of course he hasn't had a FIFA 14 card or any other FIFA cards um, so I can't really you know judge what um, what card he will be but I think it'll be something similar to this as this is uh, the latest head to head update. Um, they also give him 3 star weak foot and 3 star skimmers however I actually think he'll get 4 star skimmers on the next game because he is a, he does seem like a really incredibly skilly player um, from what I was watching on, of a compilation of him he you know he seems incredibly skillful so maybe 4 star maybe even 5 star at a push but definitely seems like a good player and uh, we'll have to see how he is on FIFA 15. Moving on to the next player, guys. We are going to talk about Manchester United's Fellaini. Now, he actually um, hasn't signed for Napoli yet, but it is looking more and more likely that he is going to be going to Napoli. But I think Manchester United want around about 18 mil um, for him, which I'm not even sure why the hell we would want 18 mil for Fellaini because I would be, you know, happy to get at least, you know, eight. 10 for him you know he really has flopped this uh, this season and uh, he only played 24 games scored zero goals and got four assists you know currently you know I, I, I really don't know what to say about Flynn he, 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 just, he really frustrates me watching him as a football player you know constantly out of position um, you know for Everton he was absolutely fantastic banging him tons of goals playing on that on that attacking role you know constantly assisting and then comes to Manchester United and absolutely flops doesn't know how to you know pass a ball completely um, but I don't no, I think he will be in for a downgrade though even if he does go to Napoli um, but I'm going to give him a 79 rated centre mid card and uh, I'm going to go minus 2 pace, minus 1 shooting, minus 1 passing, minus 1 dribbling, minus 7 defending that was actually on his latest head to head update seems to have lost quite a bit on that and uh, minus 4 heading as well but I'm going to keep his 3 star weak foot and 3 star skill moves Moving on to the next player, guys. We are going to talk about Liverpool's Daniel Agger. Now, he does actually look to be on his way out, and he could be moving over to Barcelona. Um, after a fairly average season, he only played 23 games last season um, out of... You know, he normally plays like a solid 30-40, so um, I'm not really sure what happened with him, but uh, 23 games he played this season, scored two goals, and got one assist. Apparently, he is in for a downgrade uh, on the latest head-to-head -head update, so I'm going to give him an 81-rated card, and uh, Barcelona seem to be winning the race at the moment. Apparently, both teams have um, uh, I think they've but it's reportedly that both teams have agreed terms so looks like he's on his way to Barcelona but we'll have to see if that you know transfer does go through but I'm gonna give him plus zero pace minus one shooting plus one passing minus three dribbling plus two defending and minus two heading keeping his weak foot at three and skill moves at two Moving on to a silver card now, guys. We are going to talk about Ryan Bertrand. Now, of course, he spent most of... Well, he spent the full season on loan at Aston Villa from Chelsea, of course, uh, last year. And uh, he's returned to Chelsea, and he's actually gone back out on loan. And this uh, this time, he's actually gone out to Southampton. After Southampton have lost, you know, pretty much most of their players, uh, they've, you know, it's time to rebuild, whether they're on loan or not. Um, they are going to need a lot of players, and uh, this is one of them. So Bertrand, uh, I'm going to give him a... Well, I'm going to keep him at seven. 74 rated left back uh, this season or you know last season sorry uh, he played 19 games scored nine uh, scored zero goals and zero assists sorry I don't know where the hell that came from would be pretty awesome if he scored nine goals as a left back but unfortunately he didn't um but I'm gonna keep him at 74 left back gonna give him plus zero pace minus one shooting minus one passing minus four dribbling is actually his uh, latest head-to-head -head update and uh, plus one defending and heading keeping his weak for a three and skill moves at two 
Moving on to the final player of this episode, guys, we are going to talk about Stefan De Vrij, De Vrij, De Vrij, I honestly have no idea how the hell you pronounce his name. Such a strange name, we've had so many strange names throughout this um, throughout this series, and, you know, here's another one to add to the list, but anyway, Stefan De Vrij, I'm going to call him, um, played 34 games, scored 4 goals, and got 1 assist, and apparently on his latest head-to-head -head update, he seems to be in for a downgrade, and because I haven't seen much of the guy, apart from, you know, at the World Cup, I cannot say if he's good or bad, or whether he deserves a downgrade or upgrade, so I'm having to go with um, the latest head-to-head -head update again. But I'm going to give him a 75-rated centre-back. He seems to be in for a, just a slight decrease or uh, slash downgrade. But I'm going to give him plus zero pace, minus one shooting, minus three passing, minus three dribbling, minus one defending, and plus four heading, plus three, uh, plus three, sorry, three star weak foot and two star skill moves. Thank you guys for watching yet another episode of FIFA 15 Ultimate Team Predictions. Another transfer special is out uh, the way, of course. We are covering a lot of players recently, and uh, if you've got any more uh, transfer players that you would like me to cover down below, do be sure to leave them in the comments. And, um, yeah, I just want to say a quick thank you for 60,000 subscribers. We hit that today, and that is pretty awesome to, you know, to get back on track and start hitting those numbers again. So, if you'd like to see any special video or, you know, just get back on to uh, normal FIFA, FIFA 15 prediction videos, of course, um, just leave them in the comments and uh, apart from that guys I want to thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy it leave a like rating if you want to follow me on Twitter at 94 you can do that link will be in the description and uh, apart from that guys I'll see you guys soon